Brandon Zimmerman from the Buckeye Battle Cry joins us each and every Wednesday night to talk Ohio State football, the spring game in the books from Ohio Stadium in front of 82,000 uh, on Saturday. So, Brandon, you probably already mentioned a few of these names, but we're going to ask you for a few standouts uh, from what you perceived on Saturday. Well, there, there were three guys that really just stood out to me. Um, one on the um, offense was Johnny uh, Dixon. Um, like I mentioned before, it was just real good to see uh, Dixon able to step up and get a chance to play and prove himself. We have heard about his talents for years, um, ever since he was a four-star uh, wide receiver joining um, Urban Meyer's class, uh, but just been hurt. So it was good to see him play. I thought he was easily the best wide receiver uh playing on the field on um, Saturday. Um, can't get too excited um, about him, like we have mentioned, but uh, Johnny, Johnny Dixon definitely stood out to me. On defense, there were two guys I thought really just dominated. Uh, both of them are backups. Uh, both of them are former five stars that are just waiting for their, their, uh, their chance. Um, and I thought Saturday was a good preview of what they will show. So the first one was at a defensive end, uh, Jonathan uh, Cooper, who was the uh, freshman five-star last year. Uh, think about how good he looked on Saturday. He had five tackles. He um, had a sack. It seemed like every time that a quarterback dropped back, Jonathan Cooper was rushing it in there and almost uh, making a play. And then you think that this dude is the fifth uh, defensive end for the uh, Buckeyes. So – uh, they're pretty stacked back there um, at the uh, defensive end spot, but Jonathan Cooper looked really good um, for a guy that kind of battled um, um, injuries his first year and even during the spring. It was good to see him play, and he looked really uh, dominant on Saturday. Next guy is another guy that's been um, injured. He was a five-star linebacker, I believe, two years ago. Um, Justin uh, Hilliard, uh, Right now, playing backup middle linebacker to Chris Worley, I thought he looked very fast for a, a linebacker. There, there were quite a few plays where Justin Hilliard is just blowing through the uh, gaps and uh, disrupting uh, throws. Uh, like I mentioned on that deep throw from I think it was Burrow to uh, Dixon there in the corner, uh, Hilliard exploded through that gap. And if it was a real game, Burrow would be <laughs> hurting because uh, Hilliard was not touched and running full speed. So he just veered off to the right and let Burrow throw it. So uh, those three guys all looked really good. Um, Hilliard finished with uh, seven tackles. So the future's bright even after next year when even more players are probably going to leave early when you got like the Sam Hubbards and the Lewises and all these guys leaving early. I think there are still quite a few guys on defense. Um, a lot of people talked about the um, SEC speed back in the day, but where it really was was on that uh, defensive line is where it was really uh, noticeable, and the and the linebackers and Urban's made that a uh, made that a priority ever since he uh, came in, and it definitely shows now that they're just so deep with these talented guys on the defensive line and at the linebacker crew.